In this video, I'd like to discuss how intermolecular attractions relate to boiling points. Here's a table with a handful of compounds, chloroform, hexane, ethanol, water, acetic acid. Listed in the table are their molecular weights and boiling points for each. Let's take a look at the boiling points for these compounds. Chloroform has the lowest and acetic acid has the highest. Let's take a look at the molecular weight for each of these compounds. Chloroform is the heaviest compound, but it has the lowest boiling point. That means it doesn't take that much heat to get chloroform to boil. Acetic acid is about half the weight of chloroform, and it boils at 118 degrees. Water the lightest compound in the list, very light, relatively speaking, has very close boiling point to that of acetic acid, 100 degrees, almost twice that of chloroform. Well, this unusual trend in boiling point and molecular weight can be explained by two points, the nature and strength of intermolecular attractions and the molecular size and shape. Let's take a closer look at each of these compounds' structure. On the bottom left is chloroform, and up at the top right is acetic acid. And they're listed the same way that they're listed on the table. Chloroform, hexane, ethanol, water, acetic acid, in the order of increasing boiling point. Looking at chloroform at the bottom left, we can see that it's a somewhat polar compound but the question still remains, why does a polar compound of such weight have a lower boiling point than hexane, which is the second compound here on the list? Hexane is a very nonpolar molecule. Well, nonpolar molecules, as you recall, have weak intermolecular attractions. And polar molecules should have stronger intermolecular attractions. One explanation is the amount of surface area that the hexane molecules have to one another. Think of the hexane molecule first off as sheets of paper. You could stack sheets of paper and there's a lot of surface area between the sheets of paper. Another aspect of that, that hexane has that chloroform doesn't is that hexane is a long molecule and it can twist and wrap itself around other hexane molecules. So it's kind of like a bunch of worms being all tied up in sort of knots. It's hard to get them apart. Chloroform doesn't have these two features, it doesn't have a lot of surface area to offer its own molecules, and cannot intertwine with its own molecules. Well, the third one up on this list is ethanol. Ethanol is a smaller molecule than hexane, but it has a higher boiling point. The primary reason why ethanol has a higher boiling point is that it can engage in hydrogen bonding. Water, like ethanol, can also engage in hydrogen bonding. Water is the lightest molecule, but water can engage we could say, in hydrogen bonding twice. Acetic acid sort of has the best of both worlds. It has some weight relative to water, it's heavier than water, and it could also engage in hydrogen bonding. The next slide relates vapor pressure to boiling point. In general, an increase in vapor pressure for a pure substance is associated with a lower boiling point. Ether has the highest vapor pressure among these three molecules, and it has the lowest boiling point. Water has the highest boiling point and the lowest vapor pressure. We could understand this by looking at the intermolecular attractions for each of these molecules. Ether engages in only dipole-dipole. 
Alcohol engages in some hydrogen bonding. Water engages in only hydrogen bonding. Here's a graph correlating boiling point to molar mass for a homologous set of molecules. Homologous set of molecules meaning the structure of the molecules are very, very similar. Straight chain hydrocarbons. The smallest of these is CH4. The largest is C4H10. And below the graph is the condensed formula for each molecule you could get a sense of what their Lewis structures would be like. All four of these molecules engage in induced dipole, induced dipole. The heaviest molecule, of course, is C4H10, and it has the highest boiling point. The lightest molecule is, C is CH4, it has the lowest boiling point. There are two reasons why C4H10 has the highest boiling point here. One, it's the heaviest, also, it has more surface area per molecule for each of their molecules to engage in induced dipole, induced dipole intermolecular attraction.